that. Tell me when it comes to you, because you are playing a pivotal role. You are in fact heading the investigation, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, so then uh, what was the most intriguing point for you to say yes to the story and to the character that you are portraying? Yes, uh, frankly speaking, the uh, thriller part didn't attract me much. Because nowadays we get to see a lot of thrillers, a lot of investigative stuff and like that in various kinds of, uh, you know, uh, web series we have watched recently. But the uh, thing which really attracted me for Lal Bazaar, uh, if you talk about the story and if you talk about my character, is that yes. uh, this person is uh, not quote unquote a hero, you know, he is a uh, He's a brave man, no doubt, but he has got his own flaws. He has got some regrets. He, uh, he is a, a, one of the victims of the internal politics which goes on inside Lal Bazaar. And uh, his own, you know, some frustrations, some uh, sort of incompleteness there is there in this character. That attracted me most. Though he's not forgetting his duties, he's carrying on with it, but at the same time, he doesn't, throughout the series, he doesn't behave like a hero. You know, he, uh, he stumbles, he, he fumbles, he, he, he uh, basically, if you look at the person, he's a little bit indisciplined, he comes to the duty after drinking, you know, he has got all sorts of problems, and that mm -hmm. makes the character more human. That makes him more yeah, flesh and blood. I was about to, yeah, I was about to tell you that. He like, you know, it, it looks like a character with like a lot of dimension, a lot of layers that it has and it is flawed and flawed is real. How was it like working with uh, Sabdasachi uh, Chakrabarti? Because uh, you know, he I have, has I, played I have several, worked, yeah. I worked a lot with him earlier also, but uh, mm -hmm. he, he, was a, he was a real star from television. I firmly believe that television can never give birth to stars. But Shobhoshachi Chakraborty is the only exception who came from Bengali television and really emerged as a star. So he, of course, his presence uh, gave a different color altogether to this series. And apart from Shobhoshachi, uh, I think the other character who really fascinated me when I watched this series once again is hmm. his son, his son, Gaurav, Gaurav Chakraborty. Yeah, the fellow who is, who is wearing the white uniform, right? I mean, yes, yes, Sabir, Sabir. Uh, Sabir, yes. Sorry, I forgot the name of the character. Yeah, he, hmm. he is so genuine, uh, and he, you know, uh, personally also, he's a very nice boy. He's a very well brought up uh, young boy, and he's a very good actor. It's unfortunate that he doesn't get much opportunity. I don't know why, but uh, he is very good. And the other young members of my team, like Sho Roshini, yes. uh, like Onirban yeah. Chakraborty, and the person who did Anisur, and the young, yes. another young cop, they were all yes. very competent. They're all very competent, but Gaurav was really good. And uh, I, I'm a really uh, fan of Dibendu, you know? Uh, mm. Dibendu was in Kolkata uh, once upon a time. He uh, was in a theater group which, uh, in which my father directed a play for them. So I'm from a theater family. So Dibendu yes, was a part, part, part of that team. So I know him for a long time. And he's a very good actor, very normal. Uh, he, 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 he could have made the character very gross, you know, hmm. but he played it very, in, a, in a very subtle way, in a very, very subtle way. I like Shubroto. I like his, his menace, the kind of, uh, you know, uh, yeah, yeah. The, the, the dirt which is inside him. It comes out on and often. And yeah. I also must, must mention two other performances uh, from the two very senior actors of Taliganj. They did uh, two very brief appearances, but they did terribly well. One is Shantilal Chakraborty and I saw that, uh, huh? is Vidipta Chakraborty, the two guys who were, uh, who uh, used to take the advantage mm. of the young girls yes. in the home. You know, yeah. Uh, yeah. They are veterans and they are extremely good actors. Uh, 
they were really good something that i have to ask you then because you just mentioned the 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 fact that you know you you come from theater your your parents were in theater you you come from theater your uh, you are quite obsessed with that medium called theater my, my, my w- wife is uh, one of the most important theater figures of bengali theater uh, reshmi shen my son uh, riddhi he is a well known actor he got national award in 2017 for a film of called of course Agar. i know that yeah yes, yes. yeah so he's, he's also into theater he's also into theater so we are uh, yes we are we belong uh, to theater yes to theater that uh, that community i would say rather than just being an artist uh, what i was trying to figure out two things right firstly uh, and and these two things i am saying from uh, it's not just a journalist who is asking you it is a is a youngster of this nation who is asking you uh, observe, who is also observing the situation around us two things firstly sir uh, because theater is a life performing art right considering the testing time that we are going through after once even when the normal surface right uh, i know few folk artists uh, like uh, you know marathi folk singing folk folk, folk artists who are saying ki shay sabji bechenge <laughs> they they have little uh, land little this thing over there and that's how probably they are going to survive till the time uh, the the folk music festivals are not coming back and thing uh, organizers are not investing money uh, theater is one of the very live audience live interacting medium what do you think how the theater uh, community is going to survive in coming few years in coming few years uh, after like post covid era thank you for asking me this question uh, uh, when the when lockdown was declared in west bengal from uh, march 21st within few days uh, uh, i along with my some of my very important theater uh, from pp from theater fraternity we have hmm. formed a platform called shobhra kritya which means brotherhood you know okay uh, we have formed that platform and we have been uh, busy for the last 3 or 4 months uh, collecting funds for the theater technicians not the film technicians i mean the film technicians they have got their federation <laughs> we have got artist forum uh, mm-hmm. of the taliganj film industry yes yes and mm-hmm. they are getting a lot of support but the technicians and the theater practitioners who are strictly associated with theater they are not been taken care of forget about taking care uh, none of the governments not even the west bengal government not the central government are not even mentioning anything about theater so what we decided the people from the theater fraternity that we have to do something for our ourselves Mm-mm. so for the last 4 months or so we are supporting uh, 140 people each month okay okay so uh, i know that this is we need more to do and there are like shobhra kritya so there are various other efforts are also being taken up by the other theater uh, very talented theater persons of bengal so this is how at present we are coping with the situation this is number 1 and number two that uh, when uh, we come out of this situation maybe in the winter or the next year we yeah. have to plan theater in a completely different way and uh, let me assure you that theater is the only medium which has got this strength of improvising itself theater is the only as in as in structurally okay yeah Mm-hmm. got it hmm. you know because of films or television or web platform they have got some monetary huge monetary involvement yes 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 so it's commercial it's highly that, commercial mm-hmm. it's highly commercial so compared to that uh, theater doesn't involve much money and you can use your imagination you can use your various ways to Props improvise and stuff mm-hmm. yes yes so we need to this is a testing time 
for theater. And at the same time, I feel it's a very exciting time also. Because whenever, if you look at the history of theater, whenever we have faced uh, these kind of obstacles, uh, theater have always found a new way. Uh, I think uh, uh, we will find a new way. Until then, people like us who are comparatively well placed in society, financially, socially, we must use our own connections, our own abilities to do something for those people who are into this theater, but they are not economically that much stronger. So well, we have to support them. We, we are doing this and uh, we will do this. We will continue this. You know, I I was before doing this interview, before sitting for this interview, I was going through some, I was doing my side of research work, and I just realized that you are one of those artists with a voice. When I'm saying with a voice, that means you you express your opinion with a with a lot of honesty. Uh, you tend to utilize art as a as a form of expression uh, to to comment on something that is happening in the society. Uh, in this tasting time. Uh, Kaushika, what is the what is the role of an artist and art? Uh, it's, it's, it's very simple, you know, that the, all the artists must have the guts to say no. We must have the guts to say no. no we to? must say no. No. To say no. No to? To the power. To all kinds of power 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 structures, particularly in Bengal, uh, you know everything is uh, judged politically. Uh, on one hand, Bengal is politically a very aware kind of a state, politically conscious. If you look at the percentage of uh, voters in our state, it's commendable. They are very politically conscious people. But at the same time, this political consciousness uh, for the last 10 years or so, it's going to a different kind of a direction, which I'm afraid is not good. Uh, whatever we are saying, whatever we are talking, whatever we are doing are being interpreted on the basis of a political color. So this is that the is high scary. time. That is scary. It's scary. That is scary because you you don't find your own voice. If you say something, the political parties in Bengal they judge you in a way that whether whatever you have said or whatever you have written, whatever cinema you are making or whatever theater you are doing, is it on? Is is it going on Pro our side or against? Or mm. against? So this is a very kind of a, they, 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 they don't want to uh, agree that there can be a gray shade. It cannot be black and white, always. So, uh, and I'm, I, I must, uh, I'm sorry to say that this notion has been, uh, has become powerful because some of us, some of the people from our fraternity have uh, have forgot to say no to this power structure. They have got too much involved into politics without having much knowledge for their own personal benefit. Uh, this has made a lot of difference. So uh, I think we are now in a very important situation and a very critical situation right now in West Bengal where we must mm -hmm. get back our voice. That we do not no. belong, we do not belong to any political party. And we have the right not to choose either this or that. The two big parties are now really fighting in West Bengal. And in my opinion, both of them are worthless. And you cannot force me to join one side or the other. I can have a different choice of my own. Not in terms of choosing a political party. 
but i can say that i don't want both of you so in order to do that you you need to say no to the power structure the power structure 